In this lesson, you'll learn how to create a custom form. The custom forms feature allows you to create your own digital client forms to suit your business. Log in to the Shortcuts console and click on the Client Information tile. On the right hand side, select Forms. Any existing custom forms will be displayed here. If you still want to be able to use the standard online client information card in addition to your custom forms, leave this box checked. Once you've created at least one custom form, you'll be able to uncheck the box if you no longer wish to use the standard form. Click on the Create a Form button. First, enter the name of the form. Then tick the Active box. Tick Retain History if you want to store a copy of the form each time a client completes it. Then choose how often the form will need to be updated for each client. The Employee Review option determines whether the form needs to be reviewed and accepted by an employee after it's been filled in by the client. Now it's time to start creating your form layout. Click on a category to view your field options. The Shortcuts Client fields contain information that will be stored in the client card. The extra form fields are the elements that you'll use to build your form, such as checkboxes, multiple choice and drop-down lists. Click on a field to add it into the layout. I'm going to start by adding my business logo. When you add an element into the form, the field details will be displayed on the right hand side, allowing you to customize the element. For example, when I add an image into the form, I can choose the alignment as well as the size of the image. Make sure that you have Maintain Aspect Ratio ticked if you want to prevent the image from being distorted. The next thing I'll do is add the form heading. Next I'm going to add some basic client information fields. Click on an item in the form layout to select it. You can change the order of the fields by clicking the arrow buttons. And if you need to remove an item, just click on the X icon. Here you can choose whether you want the field label to be positioned above or beside the field. You can also specify whether or not this is a mandatory field. Next we have our opt-in options, which will allow your clients to choose if and how they receive various types of communication from your business. Accept Medical Data Storage allows the client to consent to having sensitive data such as skin test results stored by your business. You'll notice that most of the opt-in fields say Options Configured Within Shortcuts POS. This means that the options within the Quick New Client layout in Shortcuts Fusion will be the same options that appear in the form when the client fills it out. Accept Ratings and Reviews affects how clients will receive rating and review requests from your business. Accept Loyalty Communication allows loyalty members to opt in or out of loyalty notifications. Accept Appointment Confirmation affects how the client will receive appointment confirmations and reminders when they make a booking. Accept Marketing allows the client to choose how they wish to receive marketing materials from your business. You can use these arrows to change the order of the answers, and you can remove an answer by pressing the minus button. You also have the option to display your data privacy policy and allow clients to accept the data privacy policy. Display text can be used to add a message into the form. This is just for the client to read, not to be filled in. Now I'm going to start adding my questions into the form. Single choice questions only allow the client to select one of the available answers. Enter your question into the label text field. Then you'll need to add the options for the client to choose from. Enter an option here, then press the add button. Repeat these steps for all of your options. You can also choose how your options will be displayed. To create a text box for the client to fill in, either choose single line text or multi line text depending on how much text input you want to allow. The number field allows the client to select a number. Here you can select the default answer that will be displayed. 
The date field allows the client to enter a specific date. Adding a multiple choice question will create a series of checkboxes. This option should be used when the client can select more than one answer. Enter the options in the same way as shown earlier. Here you can choose the number of columns the boxes will be displayed in. This allows you to make better use of space on the form. A drop-down list will allow the client to select one of the possible answers. This is particularly helpful for creating a large list of options without making the form look crowded. Here you can add a simple checkbox to the form. You can then add the label text and choose whether the box will be checked or unchecked by default. You can also add a capture photo element into the form. When the client is filling out the form, this will appear as an Add Photo button. When selected, this will allow for a photo to be captured and added into the form. Leave this option set to Yes if you want the photos to be saved into the client's photo history. If you select No, then the photo will just be stored within the form. If you add a Terms and Conditions box, you'll need to enter the heading text. Then add your terms and conditions here. You can use these buttons to add merge fields into your text if required. Choose whether your clients will accept the waiver by ticking a checkbox or by providing a digital signature. If you select Checkbox, then you'll be able to edit the checkbox label. Or if you select Signature, a box will be added under the text prompting the client to sign here. Once you've finished creating the form, click Save. The form you created will now be available for selection next time you're using online client information cards. Now that you know how to create a custom form, you can create your own digital client forms to suit your business.